Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the mysteries of Eldergrove begin to unfold. Join us as we follow the journey of a brave young girl and her friend as they step into the heart of a mysterious forest. The air is thick with an electric energy, and the towering trees cast long shadows that dance upon the forest floor. The path is illuminated by bioluminescent plants, creating an otherworldly ambience. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the secrets that lie within these woods. As Lila Hart stepped into the heart of the forest, the air thickened around her, charged with an energy that felt both electric and oppressive. The towering trees, their gnarled branches twisting like the fingers of ancient giants, loomed overhead, casting long, jagged shadows that danced upon the forest floor. Each step Lila took was accompanied by the soft crunch of leaves beneath her worn sneakers, a sound that seemed to echo in the stillness, amplifying the tension that hung in the air like a heavy fog. The bioluminescent plants, glowing faintly in shades of blue and green, illuminated her path, creating an otherworldly ambience that both fascinated and terrified her. Lila's heart raced as she recalled the stories Old Man Grayson had shared, tales of the spirit that haunted these woods, a manifestation of the town's collective fears and buried secrets. The whispers of the trees seemed to beckon her deeper into the forest, urging her to confront the truth that lay hidden within. With every step, Lila felt the weight of her family's past pressing down on her, a reminder of the nightmares that had plagued her since childhood. Elena Foster, Lila's steadfast friend, walked beside her, her bright blue eyes wide with a mix of skepticism and fear. Are you sure about this, Lila? Elena's voice trembled slightly, betraying her usual confidence. Lila turned to her, the resolve in her green eyes unwavering. We have to face it together, Elena. We can't keep running from our fears. As they ventured further, the atmosphere shifted, the sounds of nature amplifying into a cacophony of rustling leaves and distant animal calls. It was as if the forest itself was alive, watching, waiting. Lila felt a chill run down her spine, a premonition of the confrontation that awaited them. The spirit, she knew, was not merely a figment of her imagination. It was a reflection of the town's guilt, a living embodiment of the pain that had festered for generations. Suddenly, a rustle in the underbrush sent both girls into a startled silence. Lila's breath caught in her throat as a shadow flickered at the edge of her vision. The spirit emerged, a swirling mass of darkness and light, its form shifting like smoke in the wind. Lila's heart pounded in her chest, but she stood her ground, feeling the warmth of Elena's hand gripping hers tightly. What do you want from us? Lila called out, her voice steady despite the fear that threatened to overwhelm her. The spirit paused, its form coalescing into a more defined shape, revealing a face that was both familiar and foreign, a visage that echoed the features of those who had come before her. It was a reminder of the town's history, of the pain that had been buried beneath layers of denial. In that moment, Lila understood. The spirit was not her enemy. It was a part of her, a part of Eldergrove. It embodied the fears that had haunted her family, the secrets that had been whispered in the dark. Lila took a deep breath, feeling a surge of empathy wash over her. We can help you. We can face this together. As the words left her lips, the forest seemed to hold its breath, the shadows stilling as if waiting for the spirit's response. Lila felt a shift in the air, a release of tension that had built up over years of silence. The spirit's form began to soften, the darkness giving way to a glimmer of light, a sign of hope amidst the despair. Lila and Elena stood united, ready to confront the truth and begin the healing that Eldergrove so desperately needed.